EA dropped the 84 plus double upgrade and you can complete two per day. Let's open these up and see what we get. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys get in your 84 double upgrades. If you guys are looking for cheap, fast, and reliable ultimate team coins, check out mmoexp.com. Link in the description. Save 5% using code HABER. Not the best start. 284 is in my first one. Not amazing. Uh, and also, if you guys do enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like down below. We have 100 of the 75 plus player picks open in this video too, which I'm really excited about. Cobell at least. Be a double walkout. Go on, be a double walkout. It's not a double walkout. We get 87 Cobell in the second one though. It's decent fodder. Maybe like an 85, a decent 85. Rashford or something, please. No, 84 Scott. So we get 384s out of 4 and 187 Cobell. They are an 84 rated squad with 285s needed as well. It's quite expensive. These definitely feel like they could potentially be a bit of an IQ test. I think at the price point, they aren't great value unless you get insanely lucky like this guy and get a double walkout. Modric is the front player. Go on, let's get something really exciting as a second player here. I want to see a Graham Hansen or something like that. Okay, Bernardo Silva, 88. You know, it's not bad. That's a decent one. If you get really lucky and you get a double walkout, it's probably half decent value. But with an 84 rated squad and an 85 required, it's going to take a lot to even break even. We are hoping to get some trailblazers in these as well. Maybe an informal or two. There's some half decent team of the weeks this week. That's terrible. Oh, no. Actually, I tell a lie. I thought that was Declan Rice. Still not a me Oh wait, no wait. Uh, never mind. I thought she was. I thought. I thought for some reason that was bronze, and she was 87 rated. No, that is terrible. That is 85 rated. Yikes. Oof. Hopefully these aren't gonna be a complete IQ test, but this isn't a great start. Upman has these priced at around 20,000 coins per pack. So realistically, you need at least one walkout and maybe an 85 to break even. Like you kind of need an 87 and 85, I think, to break even on these packs. With how they've been so far, that's actually asking quite a lot. You are actually asking quite a quite a substantial amount now with how they've been so far. Maybe an inform and like an 86 would also break even, but so far, I mean, that's two double eighty fours in a row. That's that's really bad. Unless you get like a Carl Walker, a Tamori, or you know, someone of really good substantial value. It's actually quite difficult to break even. Let's get our first trailblazer, eh? Or an inform. Come on. Let me see something exciting. Okay, that's neither. That's going to be an 85 rated Kalon Navas. It is painful submitting a full team of like 84s with an 85 and a couple 83s just to get like an 85 and maybe an 84 back. Like that's rough. That is rough. Yeah, that's painful. At least you got a decent PSG like partnership there, but that's rough. All right, we go again. We go again. Make sure to let me know in the comments down below as well what you guys get as I always scroll through the comments to see what you guys get. That is, is that Goretzka? He was rumored to be in Team of the Week and isn't in Team of the Week. That's a shame. That is a shame. Um, He was rumored to be in it as well. He did get a goal and an assist. I'm surprised he's not in the Team of the Week, actually. At least it's not a terrible card. I think he holds a bit of value, like 20k. So you probably, in terms of opportunity cost and value, you kind of broke even on that pack, but... You know, it's no walkout still. You want fodder, I guess. If you do enjoy this video as well, make sure to leave a like on the video as well. as It, it does greatly help out the channel. And subscribe if you guys are new around here too. Rolfo. Never Rolfo. I haven't patched Rolfo at all. And by the way, Team of the Week's tomorrow. That's why Goretzka's not in form. I'm an idiot. Team of the Week is tomorrow. Yeah, that's my bad. I, yeah. Team of the Week is uh, is not today. Kante? Okay, double. No double walkout again. Kante, at least it's a walkout. We're getting a significant lack of walkouts in these packs. Significant lack of walkouts. And a double muller. That's that's painful. Come on, EA. Let's get Trailblazer. Or some more walkouts. These have started off really slowly. Really slow. Barca. <sighs> Whatever. Okay. Right. Rabio and Alberto. Double 84 yet again. Come on. Can we get our first Trailblazer of these packs? No, we can't. We get a... It's an 85 cow. I'm just going to skip it. Damn. I really hope you guys are getting better luck than this because this luck is terrible right now. This one's midway opening. We've missed it. It is Lucy Bronze. Be double walkout. I dare you. No. Okay. So what's the best case scenario here? High rate. High expensive 85. Rashford. Come on. Come on. Rashford. 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 Martins. All right. We go again. Will we finally get some luck? No trailblazer again. English. Right back. Trent. Is that Reese James? This is a 100% IQ test. 100% IQ test. This is this is not looking good at all, man. 
Come on, bro. 100 of the one of 275 plus gold player picks. Now, I'm not a big fan of the one of twos, right? Not as exciting as, say, a one of three or a one of four, but we're going to jump into it anyway with 100 of these. So hopefully we can see some trailblazers, some walkouts, the first proper player picks of the year that are, like, repeatable, right? Like, we've had them in objectives, but it's the first ones of the year that are repeatable. I am just going to take the non-duplicates for now until we get, like, high-rated fodder that is a duplicate, effectively. Um, but, yeah, fingers crossed we can get some trailblazers. Give me Ronaldo, EA, you know? Or if not, if all else fails, I'll take a, an Mbappe. I'll take, a, I don't know, Haaland, uh, uh, Putellas. Like, I'll take someone like that, you know, if we're not going to get, like, a, uh, a cheeky trailblazer. But I am hoping we can get at least one. At least one from 100 is a pretty fair return, if you ask me. I would say, anyway. Um, but I haven't seen how good these are. I haven't looked at how good these are. I haven't I haven't watched anyone else opening these. So these could be really good. They could be really bad. I have absolutely no idea. We're going to find out. Double 83. We'll take Raheem the Dream Sterling there. We'll happily take Raheem. Um, now, yeah, okay, great. So far, I think we've only had a couple of boards. It's not been it's not been the world's best start. But what I've learned from player picks over the years is that you can get a terrible start. And all it takes is like one hot run of like three or four player picks and bash. You know what I mean? You can get something really, really good. So I'm hoping that if all else fails, maybe we get something decent uh somewhere in these um somewhere in these player picks, realistically. That's what I'm hoping for. Oh! Nice and inform. Okay. Well, we do get ourselves our first special card. Inform Luca Bacchio. The fact you can see it below. I don't know why. Like, that scared me more than it should. I thought we were getting something special there. Uh, well, we, we did get something special. But, I mean, I don't know why. I thought that was going to be better than just an inform. I thought, like... I don't even know what I thought. You can't get icons in these. You can't get heroes in these. But, like, my brain went somewhere there. I don't know where it went. But we'll take it. At least it's an inform. Informs are always helpful, man. Informs are underrated, in my opinion, because at this stage of the game, yeah, sure, Luca Bacchio is probably not, like, helpful in any way, but he will be helpful somewhere down the line when we get an SBC that requires an inform. So I'm just thinking long term, that's decent, you know what I mean? However, in terms of these player picks, these have not been decent at all. These have been pretty rough, if you ask me. They've not been, they've not been fantastic, that's for sure. A lot of a lot of like lower than 80 rated cards here. I do think you're probably better off doing gold upgrades anyway. Like for three extra gold, you can do a gold upgrade rather than a player pick and you get an extra gold in there. Um but you know, these are these are fun to do. I think player picks are the most fun way of opening any kind of content on the game. So I understand if you go for player picks just for the fun aspect rather than going for the gold upgrades, because packs can be a bit boring to open, especially if they just suck all the time. Uh why Oh, we got our first walkout. Let's go. Magul from Bayern Munich. Our first walkout. It took probably around 35 player picks. But we finally get our first walkout, which I'm very actually, I'm very happy about, to be fair. I'm very happy about our first decent pull. Although I can't lie to you. Go on, Malasia. Uh, I can't lie to you. It's taken a bit too long. But if that's the first of many, that's fine. All right, we're on to our last Full page or two half pages. These have not been great. I can't lie to you. From so far, I mean, we started off with 100. We've got 12 left. We did 88 or 90 now. We've had one walkout so far. And it's been 87 rated Maggle. That is the only walkout we've had so far. No trailblazers. One, one in form. And I would say less than 10 boards. Not been great. I would probably avoid the 75 plus player picks if I were you. I do not think that they are worth it at all. Um, Yeah. Unless for some reason we, we pull an Mbappe out of our behinds in the last four. I highly doubt we end off with anything great here, realistically. Come on, EA. Change it up. Give us something. No, it ain't looking good. We've got two player picks remaining of the 100. And our last player of the 100 player picks is going to be... De Brits. De Brizio Romano. Wow. Warren 100 player picks for its Saber. My 84 times 5 for level 35. I am slacking a little bit, but we finally got level 35. 84 times 5. Here we go. No Centurion. Sorry, Centurion. Excuse me. No. I was going to say no uh, No Trailblaze. We get Dybala. It's not messy. We get Dybala. Who is going to be the walkout? 
Modric. Okay. Uh, it's all right fodder, I guess. I mean, it's not bad. Kim Min Jae there as well. He's probably worth a little bit still. It, it, that could have been a lot worse, in my opinion. I think they're both untradeable duplicates, but that could have been a lot worse. I am spending my tokens on a rare gold player pick. Here we go. Come on, EA. Trailblazing me up. That was worth it. 